Okay, so once you've created that topic, um, this is what it will look like when the students and families add um, that code into Flipgrid. So what they'll do is they'll open the app on their device that, and then or their computer, and then they're going to need this code right here. So I'm going to take this code and I'm going to, this is, oops, so, ooh. It'll display it big or it'll display a QR code. That's good to know um, if you're using this in the classroom. So I'm going to take this code, whoops, and I want to copy it. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to take it. This is where I'm going to place it on my, my calendar. So I know for chapters one through five, this is what I want the student. This is the code that the student, whoops, this is the code that the students are going to use to access this AEAE8. -E so that's the, the unique topic code that the kids and families are going to use to access chapters one through five. So again, when they log on here, they can click play and watch my video so they can hear me reading the question. Um, Hi, everyone. They can also, once, once they've thought about their response and are ready to add their reply, they'll just press this plus sign and then they'll go through the same thing that we kind of did. Um, they, they'll see that they have 90 seconds, they'll see the question right here on the right hand side. They have a sticky note that they can use too and then they'll just press record and they'll go through the whole process that I went through recording my topic video and then once they do that, it will pop up right here. And as these, as this gets populated, you'll see more and more responses. And then the kids can go in, the kids and families can go in and they can click on other people's replies and listen, view, think about it, and then respond to them in within Flipgrid. And it, it really creates an awesome community of readers and learners and teaching that digital citizenship too. So it's a great, great thing.